next to one of South Carolina's top Republicans on the one guy he says can beat President Obama, and it's not Mitt Romney, Dan, it's Ron Paul. State Senator Tom Davis with me now, and the endorsement that carries considerable weight and cachet in that state. Um, so, uh, obviously, Senator, you made this move regardless of how things look in the polls for the time being. Um, why? Well, I mean, to me, it's not about politics. It's about endorsing the person that most accurately reflects what you think is wrong with this country or is talking about the issues that are wrong with this country. And I think that's Ron Paul. And South Carolina is a very interesting demographic. You have your social conservatives um, who essentially are appealing or, you know, Mitt Romney is, uh, I'm sorry, Rick Santorum appeals to them. Mitt Romney is, is more or less appealing to the establishment candidate as the establishment candidate. But what we're overlooking is that South Carolina has a very strong Tea Party movement, a very strong pro-liberty, um, anti-government, pro-freedom movement. And that particular uh, constituency, I think, is one that Ron Paul can appeal to. I've been all over this state. I've heard what citizens are concerned about. They're afraid of too much spending. They're afraid of too much dependence upon state-run health care. And they really hate government picking winners and losers in the marketplace. The one candidate that's talking about that clearer and more forcefully than any other is Ron Paul. And I think he's got a great shot at those votes. Um, Senator, we're just showing a poll, a poll here that shows, you know, certainly uh, Congressman Paul is not doing that poorly here, but that vote, if you want to call it the conservative vote or however uh, folks define it, is divided now by the likes of uh, former Speaker Gingrich and Governor Perry and, and Senator Santorum. Do you agree, as do others, that, that, that you've got to coalesce, or that is conservatives have to coalesce around a single candidate? Um, if it's not going to be Mitt Romney, uh, if it, it's got to be Ron Paul, it's got to be any one of the above. Without that, it's just sort of opening the road for, for Mitt Romney to take this. Well, I think when you use the word conservative, you have to be a little bit more specific. You have social conservatives, certainly, that I think um, are, are attracted to the Rick Santorums and to a lesser degree New Gingrich. But then you also have limited government fiscal conservatives. And I think that's the vote that's really in play here. I mean, look, four years ago when Ron Paul ran for president, he had about 3% of the vote. This time around, he's scoring six, seven, eight, nine times higher than that, depending upon what poll you're looking at. There is a very strong demographic out there that is, thinks government does too much, spends too much, takes away too much of our liberty, and one person is speaking to that, and it's starting to resonate, and it's why what you're going to see in the next coming days are the most fiscally conservative senators in the South Carolina Senate are going to be coming out and endorsing Ron Paul. It's not just me. I came out yesterday, but there, is going to, there are going to be more coming out tomorrow because what they recognize is well, when they get these of your, of your heft, sir? I, I, I mean, or, or is at, it just... At, 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 well, at least, at least three senators that I know of that I spoke okay. to today who have 100% ratings on fiscal scorecards. They are the most and fiscally they're going conservative for, senators and they're going for Ron in the Paul, Senate. not Mitt Romney. They're going for Ron Paul. They're okay, going so for Ron Mitt Paul, Romney and they're going to join somehow, me. I understand. But if Mitt Romney were to somehow still take South Carolina, ultimately go to the nomination, are they going to sit this out or support it? No, I, 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 that's not what this is about. I mean, obviously, what you want to do next fall, next November, is you want to have Barack Obama be a one-term president. So, so that's not the debate here. The debate here really is who is the strongest candidate? Who can we put forward that is truly a fiscal conservative? I'm tired of all the rhetoric. I'm tired of individuals saying they're going to cut spending, they're going to get government out of our lives, when they have a record, when they're in power, of doing precisely the opposite, getting right. government in our lives, you know, creating spending. I I'm tired of the rhetoric, and like the Who song says, I'm not going to be fooled again. I'm not going to get on my knees and pray. I'm going to go with the guy that I know has a record that supports that. I think what made your appearance especially meaningful is that Who reference, Senator. Thank you very, very much. Very good having you. you got